Pterosaurs flew the skies during the dinosaur age. But how did the really big pterosaurs, the one that were as large as airplanes, support their long necks and giant heads, especially when they had a big piece of prey? This bone structure looks like the supportive spokes on a bicycle wheel. These spokes were very slender. They had an average diameter of just 1.16 millimeters. But when you put them together, they were very strong. Until now, researchers thought that pterosaurs' neck bones had a simple tube within a tube structure. But this proposed tube structure was problematic. That's because pterosaurs could have enormous heads that were larger than five feet or 1.5 meters. Plus, pterosaurs were hunters. So their necks had to support not just their big heads, but also their prey. Also, before I go further, I just want to clarify that pterosaurs are not dinosaurs. They did live alongside them, however, from the late Triassic, about 225 million years ago, to the end of the Cretaceous period, about 65 and a half million years ago, and that's when the giant asteroids slammed into Earth and caused the mass extinction. So, to investigate the pterosaur neck, a team of researchers took the neck vertebra of a well-preserved Cretaceous-aged pterosaur from the genus Alenka, which was discovered in Morocco. This genus is part of the pterosaur family Azargidae, which includes the famous pterosaur Quetzalcoatlus, a flying reptile that had a wingspan of more than 30 feet or 10 meters. The team used an X-ray CT scan to study the vertebra, which revealed the helically arranged spokes on the bone. According to study researcher David Martel, it is unlike anything previously seen in a vertebra of any animal. The researchers ran a calculation that showed that as few as 50 of these spoke-like supports increased the amount of weight the pterosaur's neck could carry without buckling by up to 90%. Now researchers know that these spokes, along with the tube within a tube-like structure, provided pterosaurs with the support they needed to carry their big heads and any potentially big prey items. In fact, it was previously assumed that azarchids were fish eaters or general feeders, likely eating small mammals and reptiles and maybe even baby dinosaurs. Now that we know more about their necks, perhaps scientists could investigate just how much weight these pterosaurs could catch, carry, and gobble down, the researcher said.